guy. I'm going to be joined by gods as we. And these are going to be some awesome best of threes. Our opener right now is going to be the winner bracket final. Team OG against Ehome. Give me your early impressions about the matchup right now. I mean, these are the two teams who, when they're winning, have had some of the most dominant wins. OG were crushing games in 15, 20 minutes when they were playing. Same thing for Eho. We saw them 2-0 stomp Vici Gaming yesterday. I don't even feel like we've really got to see much of Eho because of how convincing some of their wins have been. So, to me, the two most dominant teams right now, they're in the winner bracket final. One of them's going through the grand final, and it's, it's going to be a great kind of matchup of aggression coming out from Ehome and OG, like how they look to deal with that aggression. Sounds good. Sounds like we have a draft, so let's go ahead and hop into it so we can see what kind of picks are going to be in store for us right now. I know both these teams love the Earth Spirit. They both are sporting a 100% win rate with it, but for right now, it does look like Ehome are going to be having the first pick. OG don't want to have to go up against it, so they ban that out. And also... Respect the Faceless Void, something we've been seeing a lot of, especially out of the Eastern teams. Maybe something OG are not quite comfortable with. I know Moon has played it a couple of times, but maybe not comfortable going up against it. So, better to get rid of it there. Or they could be planning to go, like, Miracle Invoker, let's say. They won't have to deal with that trouble. And then for Ehome, gotta get rid of the Wisp. You're going against OG after all, and the follow-up is going to be the Vengeful Spirit. Yeah, and that's something Ehome are kind of wary of. If they don't first pick this Invoker, chances are OG are grabbing it in one of their two picks. But uh, the other hero that's really appetizing for Ehome is the Batrider for 11. He's played a lot of it. Um, he pri primarily has been playing the offlanes, although we saw him kind of do his try his hand at the Lone Druid yesterday. And when I, when I say try his hand, he absolutely wrecked at it. They were winning games in 18 to 20 minutes with it. And he's going to say, let's let's stick with the Lone Druid. Um, it also prevents that duo of Lone Druid and Invoker getting picked together. These two heroes together, the Alacrity on the bear, oh, yeah. uh, even a Quas Wex Invoker with the bear, just giving a ton of control to help protect it, is a duo I, I think that's almost too scary to be giving up. So it kind of prevents that. If you go for the bat, you give up Lone Druid Invoker, and that's that's trouble. Uh, also, you know, go, committing for the bat, OG not afraid. One of those teams that's not afraid to go for the Oracle, so could pose a problem with the, an early counter there. Uh, the Lone Druid grab here for Ehome. They currently have three games with it here in the MDL final, and their record is 2-1. and one. For OG now, again, uh, I would imagine possibly the Invoker coming out. It's been their third most popular grab. Every time it's in the hands of this Miracle fellow right here, we seem to be in it for a highlight-worthy performance. So Ehome, though, is a, is a crafty group, and I'm sure maybe they have an answer for it, anticipating that they've thought out this draft. These very steps right here, and... All the possible variables that could be coming out from it. This is a big match right now. The winner of the series moves on and is guaranteed a spot in the grand final. Top two. Yeah, and with all the teams left in, it's on. It's it's still such a big challenge to even get to that grand final from the lower bracket. You're gonna be versing either Evil Geniuses or LGD. It re it really is teams left, any of which can take the championship. Even at the start of today, before uh, Newbie got knocked out, um, before Vici Gaming got knocked out, any of the six teams it felt like could be taking the championship. So. Very close playing field right now, and OG, go for the Chen, looking to put together uh, at least the makings of a pretty strong five-man, and we've seen Chen be one of just those heroes that, despite being nerfed recently, is still just making its making appearance game after game. Oh goodness. So yeah, Chen, two games, one and one with that, and then the follow-up being the Bat Rider. This one becomes a bit more intriguing because, as far as I'm looking here, OG have yet to play it. Maybe they've played it one game, but on this top 15 list I have in front of me, yet to even show a game. So something possibly different here for Moon. Uh, it's a Batrider after all, I'm sure. Everybody knows what Batrider does, and they're capable of playing it, but we'll see if the Rust is going to be there or not. And if Ehome decide that maybe they want to snag up that Oracle, let's say, mm. to kind of counter back against the Bat. But Ehome also a team not known to pick up the Oracle. Yeah, it, I don't think it's like a first two pick as well. It's something you might pick in the third or fourth slot. Mm -hmm. But it, while False Promise can counter the Batrider Lasso, the hero does so much more than just the Lasso. And you can kind of start the fight with the Lasso, the False Promise comes out, and countless times I still see the hero go down. Batrider, he's got four spells, not one. It's it's not always entirely about the Lasso with the Batrider, so uh, I don't think Ehome are going to kind of jump jump the gun and just pick up Oracle second here, although maybe, maybe they'll prove me wrong. So, the motivation it looks like here already, I I'm seeing a conflict from both sides, thinking that they could pose more of a hefty like push kind of a setup here. Witch Doctor coming out now could add to that a bit. Of course, we know Voodoo Restoration had a lot of sustain. Uh, you know, For the, the bear itself, Hell Ehome could end up following this up later with uh, 
a CTY jug, let's say, and then really go on all cylinders. With OG having the early commitment to Chen, and already going against now a lone druid and a witch doctor, is this a Chen who might need to already be percolated about getting aggressive early? Similar like what we saw from Lanham, let's say, when he plays the Chen. Or can OG afford to be a bit more gritty with this, time out a mech, and see if they can peak a bit sooner? I think more towards the former, getting aggressive. A hero like Lone Druid is very vulnerable in the laning stage, and you can bully him. Team. Bullying the safe lane of Ehum, where the Witch Doctor plus, say, a Juggernaut or whatever safe lane carry CTY is going to be playing, that's not a vulnerable lane. But the, the Lone Druid in the off lane, uh, and potentially the mid lane, depending on what Ehum pick for for Old Chicken, could be opportunities for Chen to get active. And I think it's something you definitely want to be doing here. It just It's going to free up space for Batrider, who wants to get that good timing on, on Blink Dagger. If you're farming up the jungle con constantly, what's Bat going to farm? How's he going to get Blink? And I think Bat's Blink is going to be more important than Chen getting a ton of levels of fast Arcane's mech uh, in this kind of a game. Yeah, that's the thing, because if you're looking at it from the per perspective of Ehome here, and you already see the 1-2 to uh, what do you think is vital to them? Shutting down the Rider, so he can't have his peaking window with split dagger, or he's picking something like a bounty. Let's see. Even before the bounty is eaten into more of a man, just so they something like the it's half bolts and got Chen bat right. So you've got two years to have to take that job of their jobs. And uh, you're kind of thinking, how can we contest that? In the first five minutes, but even like in the minute where that's where bat doing is jungle farming to blink, mm -hmm. you can't put your team in a position where you can stop that from happening. You can't take a enemy jungle. Normally, it doesn't happen until a team tower is down. So, do you pick up some draft, something Five like a death to remain. push a fast? Yeah. If you push the mid with the T1 top, very fast, Five you can enter remaining. the dive. will take a back out of blink. It's not easy to do because X is in Looking at 5 X minutes, you can use the first X. OG will be protected because they don't want to look and control their jungle. One pro take, I take the okay. Maybe if I'm a jungle, let's be greedy ourselves. Um, uh, you want to be forcing your up to a position, pushing with as possible. And here is a really long team. Yeah. Looks like we're gonna start uh, talking about mid laner. OG already take first. Peculiar ban already. Just saying we don't have to deal with that dominator zone since of elude anything special for OG on what they want to do mid lane. We know Cole, he does play in the mid lane. Obviously, he can very versatile pop it up at any moment, but uh, what do you think oh, anything that could hop it again back uh, in that reserve pick here and get uh, two of the whole community, I guess, like to say some Chen and Jack up here. Yeah. Big team and I think G can actually do uh, the jack because I think that's something they can do as well. Because I, I think they can kind of adopt this style of the LG if they're going to need a carry like Morphling, Teammate Miracle, they can put Nutel mid on the jack. I really place and uh, just I don't know, just OG the team. So I think seeing the jack immediately means it's going to mid lane. Uh, they stick to the stance set, but I, I think there is a possibility it could be like well, now there's an invoke. Not a great match for Dark. You use Rocket Badge against Invoker. Uh, the homing missile isn't really all that useful either, so I see the Invoker and I'm thinking backtracking, probably say a standard gyro. If not. Yeah. E Don't get to see it there. It's very odd. Uh, but then again, like I said, we haven't seen much of E Home because they seem to just be kind of putting more getting the job done. But a 1 1 split for the record here of the Invoker for now. And now we got to go back again. OD is still out there. Uh, Lee is still out there. Both, both be good. Um, against the Lone Druid, fairly nice once you get taken up. You can still win off this series by right game. That's kind of like the OD versus Hive, where you just take the key, and then the goes out, does a ton of damage. So, I like the OD, I mean, at that stage for OD, it's just general lockdown control. Oh, got his last, like, a long cooldown done, so they'll. Give them that little see and the lockdown, your luck, and shadow, shadow. They're going to go for the support and get the Seven dazzle, so no. more kind of five mana oriented picks with the uh, sustain. Hmm. Self sustain where maybe Eho can see AA. Teams are not going to be going for. Absolutely. Let's go. 
Kingdom loves playing AA and the King of AA, so it's against the Chen, I think just because the hero being pressed a bit lesser, but remaining. I think it was the Witch that works fine. Uh, really? Well, wow. Legion. Legion Commander. So, uh, haven't seen this big forward for here, but so options. Find Legion, safe lane, look druid. Even a mid Legion with a safe lane and vulgar. What is your CT play? What, what, what is that going on here? Yeah. Pick push. Oh, what? Uh, gives you guarantee right down, against but... the bat. You need the purge. And so. And Morphling. She would be able to bust through. But yeah, bam. Morphling. So, so they're thinking maybe it's a jungle. <laughs> it, it's been done in competitive. Oh, oh, it, you know, uh, uh, that group issue. You know, is that just like. I don't know what to pick from Eho or is that. You know, four group in one. So, yeah. you see, I remember the game Ben there. saying someone did play Jungle five. Legion Commander and didn't get away with it. I want to see it was actually Eho here. Fortunately, on my last year, it must have been on time because it's way at the bottom. <laughs> but, uh, definitely going to be something that OG have not experienced before. And uh, we'll see if they do the research. So. Very, very quickly, very important that the here is kind of the pseudo to Baron. You can put off the last, so you yeah. just chuck the press the attack on your teammate. Last so, uh, so, um, outside of the deep push, always great. The opening odds, the lockdown, Julius is like, not like amazing against any series, but still an initiation tool, which didn't actually have a or they have, you know, KP's way to get And them. you've got your plus on strike, so there's. The Go around a lot, try and find a dual kill, and then try to get an extra boost, boost in the Five damage up. So, I feel like a dual kill because of that. Uh, OG grab with her last the, the TA the side. Now, up even better. Osh, so them, you know, pick. With a dazzle medallion. Like, uh, in each chest. Quick run. Line up right here, you know, off to the race is ball kind of thing, and start breaking down those tier so one jungle later. Legion. It is look like a jungle Slam. legion here, and you know what? Based on the lineup that OG have not much fear, let's offensive jungle, you know. <laughs> I think definitely can the lanes. We've seen OG do quite a bit, the like Jericopter, they're a bit of a weak lane, and just a slot switch. For OG, they're tail tough lane where he's dock farm. All thing gets kind of by stake team, but that rider, which is kind of that rider had a lot of potential on lone druid, uh, and lone druid three level five is quite weak. To the bat, he just had to try to get back and just uh, try and get as much farm as possible with his bear. So that's definitely a possibility for OG. They put a lot of work. One matchups when you get them, so. And I remember the last time we watched a little Le Druid, it was very nice. If I'm not mistaken, as well, he was hot out early for the first blood, but still held back strong and found his groove. So, here we go, folks. Game number one of our water bracket team. One of the Shakespeare major champions here of G. And aggressive word, even they behind the Chen Chen's going bottom. Yeah. It's not just that gyro going by, it's Chen as well. They know the jungle lead is going to be there They're looking to invade. Alright, very nice. Yeah, how many steps had Eve was going about this one here? For now, the commander is still kind of hanging around mid, but rotations now. You, you know, it's just that it's their jungle lead is a thing. Look to uh, block out some of the Eve are defensively there for it. You do not like that ward at all, though. That yeah. hasn't been done in an incredibly long time. I'd be Press, but you have to de ward it without. And like OG make a player that reveals that the wards, but until it happens, I don't think there's any chance to be home to. Yeah, the third country is not going to find much. Nope. So, no early skirmish, it looks like. And they'll have to. Tell I'm sure it's going to be kind of around a bit. It is possible to be off 
a pretty aggressive start right now. Usual oh. fight potential from both sides. Downing EP is going to stick himself for old chicken, but Miracle is going to go toe to toe. Steps right into the anchor here. Huge damage coming out. Eighty first. The response to oh, 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 Miracle, and they just continue to throw punches. It's going to be the full of takes here for e Home. So it's for OG, and they're not done yet. Still on. Wants to get close enough for maybe some extra bit of damage in there. Going to get the position touch, but it's not going to lead to anything else. But goodness, on the races, oh, one. Yeah. EP level one, amazing actually, that level one fight. Could you just play the roof? Because well, one wants to get hit. So it was a really cool kind of concept from old chicken, but love on helicopters. On jar, like a rock rock, it's just king. Yeah. Um, and then it didn't go the way of in so not all lost. I uh, won one race, but the demand of Ehome being a good for yeah, by having a bounty room. Alright. Bland hanging around bunch. Alright, I'll look forward to this early game perception is gonna be a little bit look at this Blana. Chicken pulled back a bit. He's already down. Tango cool down for sure. Tango right now. So. Swex into two, so right. I'll be looking at least for now you could get me an right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just got for the MP but uh Nick for the say chicken TA because I think Quaswick really cool. in that math base TA. Okay, oh, token out here. Uh, a fort for them in fire. They have a hard spot, but they are not afraid to man up. Hope that they clear the land. The assistant theater, of course. And this is pretty damn nice for OG. It's very aggressive. Obviously, the way it's going to be being right now. Do you think that they're just going to hit the tower until it falls as soon as possible? Yeah, they'll hit the tower. Hit there's third quest. Rocket brush is there. Yeah. Tons of pressure on the home and the beauty is OG have two here today. They're getting more XP out of the game, but they have the presence back of the Chen creep down here. And Chen, while he creeps down here, is stacked ink. He's secured the rune. The HE H region. This is already looking at a trip stack or some ancients there. That's that a with big grin on her face right now. Yep. Um, criticist. Gets added. Yeah. Ancient gets scanned a bit. If you Home, you're thinking crap like that. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to steal that. it. We can water and contest TA when TA goes there. But the event is still playing. They can take the team early, and suddenly their ability to contest steal is very, very unlikely. Okay, early pulled up onto Miracle, trying to catch him out. He doesn't have much source. Oh, nice. That's a nice ankle breaker. That right I'm pretty sure saves his life. He could get one. One more like two people. He had no mind to refresh. I think Sky plays a lot of Oker, so he might know it's too intense. <laughs> Ready to bounce. So. Puts him aside. Looking at the CS. More curious about the top little bit. Moon at 5 and 2. Nice. Though is kind of getting the best one on one, but Moon really yeah. too much to down. And as I say that, he's mildly for getting out of that. Yes, yeah, the was actually said, did not even take the consideration with it. Oh, the first thing drew it. That's good kill potential. Lone Druid. Farm advantage, and then a level 5 Lone Druid has in the lane. I think because of that, there's no kill potential oh, whatsoever. So, so, it's a bounce. And, oh, right. But definitely feel the e like rush with how things are on the bottom lane. Slark old 8 and OC. Gyro at the top. And six, man. Would you really set this right now with this really ending something? Top the lone druid is getting a little bit more, but moves really under no pressure at all. Getting great XP, and he's going to be well away fast level Ooh, six here. But, no uh, intent. Caster Kurt. Oh, I I got the they got the root in. They might think, oh, oh, they got the. Fairy Fire not going to be enough. He lost his bear, it looks like, but big a deal. He summons it. And I am coming in here just to poke around and avoid it. And the, oh, this is just yeah, <laughs> CTY to get pressured here. I'm like, barely fight the poison touch. Let's out. Radiant structures are Back in the game, they have to pop up. Looks like this. Go down for the five minute mark. And this is where like the Rage will just come G Tory now. The Chen is going to have a better time. There's boards as well. Uh, really easy. TAs to keep the ancients because just Ehome not having so much hard to get 
that area of the map. I'm really concerned for Lanham in this commander now. Like, what is she be able to do? Is it's going to be her comfort zone now? I expect duels to be coming near future at that point. Hell, if you want to duel, you better make sure you're going to be with your team. You're alone. Not nearly good enough, so. I'll have to see what plan can be for him. Sure. Up. Um, uh, just this one of them kind of like what can we up to? We find another kill in the back. Right? Really, the big tag blows up. And Eleven minutes in, then um, we're gonna get no bottom even harder. Support pretty low level at this point, but the main here and and Kaka's still hanging around, leading with the tornado. They're gonna cut him off on the way out. Reflections there. Looking at they get the night back. Here, but look at this already rotation in from flight. That's great. He doesn't eat you. Mm -hmm. The six minute room coming up, too. So, thanks to you, FMR. He's doing just fine, and it looks like they're protecting the room for him. So a lot of resources towards the mid lane, and they, they get a bit. Yeah. Bounty there at the bottom. You see the stack still in their four. Oh, Moon was head towards the top. Yeah. Gets cut off, and yeah, he had nothing really to be able to save himself. That move goes down. That was happening. Slot, bottom lane. Put 10 plus Jarrah. No call to it even. Uh, probably got knitted apart. Insulated rocket barrage. We're seeing more and more chance. It's no longer the test. Almost all the get dependence early on. At level 2. And a lot of the, well, a lot of the chance. So, land being the first play to do this actually. Of attempts of faith. It suits Chris' play style. You know, I will, oh, rocket barrage. And I'm trying to find this to go, but there's nowhere safe. He reaches up north, but there's this the his name again. Kill things free for him. Get to take 10 very often, you know. Most. It's the toughest. Very aggressive playmaking here. This is a very aggressive playmake chance. Yeah. The kills and the farming's getting. Got him in a good. Placed as far as being a fucking boots building towards the map of the team. And being here is not that this time has the bat with two and not really, really having the play against Lone Drew, but he can put that point oh, to his job. The smoke detector here, but he is going to be coming to me too. EP gets dropped, and the Dazzles have options there. He was just the fray, maybe looking to play a deep board on CPS board on hand. Yeah. It's, it's nice for him to work, but he really wanted to get into the jungle to get down the deep right now. Very important for OG to. Pressure up on the side of the map though. For e home five kill actually pretty nice just because they bet that that thing. With O taking reference in the jungle, if he gets those where there's those two new champs where they don't think they're safe, Dyer's all quick tower. gank, then really no real safe at all. Look at that. Oh, look at just looking to not go. It's a blank call. Surprise. Old Lev is kind of in his spot right now. Some can oh, bear, but he is slow to come. Up the blue touch and flies rotation in. Coming back from the grave, they're gonna be able to get the mid lane, pop at the trap, and quickly put it off. And looks like Ehome will be safe. Three, we're the three. Bit nervous. Here. Looking pretty damn. They're scared of the lesser that Moon needs. He's level eight, just going for the pump. For him, farming. There's no point having your last blink. Mm -hmm. Even more so when you're going forward, you're not expecting to find kill opportunities. You know, for Premier, this team that's straight to Deso while you have this significant kind of advantage, you should be able to do the ancient stack a bit sooner. Depending how much they value their chance, they may, they may go for early Deso, but just the fast pressures also kind of build that really super aggressive. It can't work with the bat riders, but you blink last, and you've got the step. Belts follow up from T and your, your kill potential is pretty good there. Take the catch, but look at the turnaround. Per Tornado, EMP, and their takedown again is my kill for now. Rid the Troll says, leave me alone. Trying to get back to the EMP. I don't be all good. I have to find them, though, to find opportunities to gather some kills and go the farthest toward the favor for the guy. We're going to be able to still continue to build. We have amped up the aggression. This is the classic that we saw. Yeah, we. This is how they play. They put down this center, but it's it's stack as much as it can be. But more importantly, it's the of what they had to scout out and goes for it to make 
play to contest the Yankees. Getting those anxious would be a huge debt to the game's chances at winning this game. At what point comfortable enough that they can move through and really contest yeah. which level six we and, certainly And for OG, the, I think they're in this mindset, but just really doesn't have them down at all. Already a thousand not worth ever. They're actually gonna go right oh, for him. Exactly where he is. They lead him with a huge call and cut right through the trees, but the bears or bear form, he's a he's kind of a day enough. He did Oh beautiful. They just want to get the drop on this lone grid. Real thing, he's still farming incredibly well. He was five net worth to TA Jaro's right after having get in killed by the Jaro. So, a second on him. Uh, I just realized that a early lone druid would be one of, the, one of the few things that maybe uh, give Ehome a really scary game that could be a game for them. Look at their second tier one here. The assistance from Nobel and Crits Crips. Cock. Going to be eating quite a rock rush. Down over 30 life. Lenham's there just in case to help out. G just trying to send a message here. They're not looking to stop one bit. And from the H stack just being left up. G got a mouse on So he's going to play farm like him. I think it's popular with farm like him. It's not going to hit that benefit. From it. Mm. With his passive, it's also an item that you don't count as the chance. Uh, from some this is like the obvious choice right there, especially it's, with the Muscle Slug is almost like some Lone Druid, you just get it every game. Or slightly less so with the, with the Slack, but very, very slow. Like, very benefits so much from the attack speed of spirit, you may as well get it every game. No kills. Is he going to force himself? I've been set by TA. For now, just picking the stick. Uh, clear that to put attention towards this controversy. The problem, though, is that they can't do So, Eho, they smoke up and are locked. I passed the traps. If they use all the tricks of this the game, if they it's well in their right to do that. Oh, they can't come down here. Colts is a high ground with the top of his firefly. Nice sniper flick with the tornado. He has dropped head 15 to offer. Well, he's going to be able to last. A whole kind of place between him and Fly, they're going to right click him down, but look at that. Home, who ended up losing to OG. Catch they him out in the counter fight. Yeah, it's fast to come and back up. We're going to be pretty anxious trying to stack it. Plus, we even looked to farm with Earth Black and the DA, but instantly, the moon was in a bit before they all wrapped toward him. He called and turned that one around a little bit chances as well. He comes response, so look at the yeah. solution right now. Or they got the too low half of his life. Crit here to try to help out, which actually is going to be doing work on this. I don't know if just clones can be able to turn the 300 down. Yes, he will. Nice chunk of trip there. And, uh, Roche is going to go down. Aegis is going to appear from, uh, Mr. Miracle, and it did look like it's going for the beat. I wish I saw the hammer. Ah, that's the look. So, yeah. All right. All right, we're going to top, top the Chen. Oh, yeah. And have much to offer here. Creeps tried it up before, but it's the job <laughs> done. Like a bit courier, but it's going to be coming up. Oh, and the question is if you're creep there, your creeps will die. So he's going to rebuild into there. Might take the right in the eye too. So a pretty big pickup. Check creeps and hero. Andrew's involved, so it gets close and close to Radiant. I'm still in nipping sense as far as this game's concerned, but uh, it's going to be OG. They reap that tsunami, get the TA, the TA decided. They get like blue daggers, but I feel it. Like they're waiting blink on. Blink dagger should coming up relative to the uh, of that. Road. Okay. Yeah. And burn. See you See that very often. Bad. Look, you can't have a. If you go blink dagger, you gotta swing your. Let's see. Find number two here. Oh, there's. Yeah. Hopefully the LD. But... <laughs> they know he's up here now. He's. He's walking. Okay, I'm gonna get split out. The weave comes moving out. The hog tie him up. Actually, nope, doesn't even. It's gonna be necessary. Just easy burns down to get this course with his car. No tail. And they will bear down. Too great. At the same time, it's his reason that he's hiding in the tree, so his bear hitting. OG are gonna show themselves and look for him, like, behind him. Because they were already. They, they were in that area.
Now, if you home here, I assume that, uh, Lanham level assault might have dual on time, but yeah, can you do anything with it at the point? That's right. CT won't win. The damage is not really there. Follow up. This duel is close to useless at this considering lead. We have style, which is going to be kind of a push in that stage with Desolate. Check by Jewel is not a spell you can expect to have any effect on a, on a fight or even be able to any pickoffs. I wonder if it's just leveling everything else. Yeah. Take the most out of what kind of app have for team. Yeah, and he's going to be needing that max nuke at level 7 for sure. And it's more about his and his the attack. Old chicken is very low, and Moon is the air. Waiting for me to go fast up here. Very patient and don't want to get quick down. It looks like. but persistent. It looks like the two and making the most of most of their agents here. The new death going hand. Now he, they have the tools. Seer work. Low G five opening. Oh, trap and a miss for Lemon. They retreat the high. Two minutes of age time, and that's the minutes where you have not be able to commit and engage into OG. Kind of question OG is G for the higher approach, or do you try to take out all the two? It's the probably the safer approach, but it's also the approach where you're not going high ground with it, you just have to deal with it when it's bare time, uh, or you go for higher push, which is very manageable. They're out farming E across the board. They've got no farm 10, having mech, having hand of god. Easily use those hits. Oh, CT wide spotted out. Moves it to do a very aggressive new ball camp here. Moves it up with a beautiful flipper, sling out that TP. But it's Slark after all, and he's a very picky. Son. But ah, they tie him up. They bring back rocket barrage, and the Slark is put in the grave. Catch for OG, and they pull ahead now, ten to six. All right, so they're going to have the time farm up more, and then, as you said, take. Come up tier two, they build up to their next items. Probably will have to follow up with the after that and move forward in the high ground. That's over the storyboard for OD. E home now, how they kind of that's sort of a favor now. And this is a phase where they can try and find probably while OG might be split, but they once that haven't got the best kill potential with what's in Vogue and... Again! Move! With the flame! Just not the end. Get away from trouble. Move. Executing so well. Any pickoff signals. Like, a couple of those rotations, the smoke, Barracopter to find the Druid. Now we've seen Moon finding a lot of kill. Barracopter's been all left the kills. No tell. Moving around the map. Been, he's been perfect as a serious fighter pilot. I think <laughs> that one. It looks like the got his youth now complete, so we get to see the uh, pick of the comp. But uh, oh. kind of the same from <laughs> much of a comp when you're quite yeah. Okay. More of a you know proud control and hopeful set up. Um, still the same with the duel. Do they have the damn potential to get to OG battle with the hand gun? Is pretty. Has mech C does. There. This is a lot of sustain that E home. I just don't at that point I nearly have damage. No. And even if Radiance Me isn't really single to get first to kill her. Radiance won't provide that. Uh, having mech and hand god is, helps heal your team up. You've Shadow Wave as well. So a radiance over time gets large gated. It needs to come from a slack. Uh, as well as even more levels on. Be home. Chance the team that's come from a dead as well he needs to arrive them. Where OG, uh, the execution is points straight when they've got item and from advantage that have stained the chance dazzle. They sweep there with smoke and hopes of catching out that pesky load. Oh, yeah, obviously the LD. Of course, elsewhere. Circle here. It's camping. Waiting, hoping that maybe someone casually come up and look at, uh, you know, a little bit of nuke. And I'm going to be pretty far away here. He's still there, though. <laughs> He's persistent. He sets the trap. So, yeah. Here, we'll just... 
I'm sure to pay that range. Yeah. Also, it's eating. It's eating. It's damage right now, so yeah. I can't take much more. He goes to the bear, smacks a couple times, and says, "I've had enough. I'll take his business elsewhere." Bear's moving in the tornado. No. Okay. Blink Frost, reactions blink do react. come. Yeah. The kid right now, unfortunately. He's like, put the story like you're seeing. You're like, don't trust gay play to get out. That's right. I should know. Like, this guy going to skill more than just get it. And they were gonna it's like you fly it. It's like, you actually made it. No, no. It's trapped. You trapped the bear. It's urged from land. But there's going to be the first duel of the game. And it's a nice isolation. Kale and go forward to the game. And just, they're going to go. Moon gets the last. Yeah. Dark Path going to help it out. He's going to go down for it. He'll make retreat on the north hand side, but he's really no way to run away from the trouble. He's going down. Biggest fight break of the game so far. Taking down three. Losing nobody. Taking the four. That's not a lot. So that's not a big thing. Two. You didn't have great. You can appreciate on some. Like that job gets a great. He gets. Right. Get a ton more damage from that miracle. He's alive, dishing out damage, Radiance creating space room because he can't attack. go into a that with Jar is taken out. So, from a dazzle, I feel the dazzle is the big why you know, win that sub. We take that sub. Without a dead dazzle, they just continue to it kind of. Oh goodness! It's their lens on the uh, long range of the attack. Of the overwhelming, overwhelming odds, that nuke is going to do a lot of damage to the, the lens. But simply, is the it's kind of that want to make always you can be in the same position and then still see attack to counter the better lasso. Interesting choice. Trying to compare the region support to and this is not a general, and this is just a to uh, Oracle support. I think that same thing. The difference. One and we wave, and the other does more single target. Then Oracle's for get killed and playing. Legion did act made them have a stage, but it has good team and damage output because of rolling odds. Yeah, and looking at the big pick, it does much more. Yeah, so he just kind of fits the bill for what or yeah. to the table, right? So. Filled one gaps, just not having a deep push for their lineup, yeah. which oh, in an Oracle here. They have lost a lot more. Always, it's a lot more. Smoke moved from a little pro bear there, trying to siege tier one. Might be able to get, but to be able to get bear in the end. So, out for a gold purse or not? He's just happy to be out. Savage roar, man. Yeah. Could he have Midas? All sorts of crazy spells. Anything. Dinosaur, Miracle TA. Wow. And a uh, observer sentry over there. So the, no, no. And with T dead, they're gonna continue this push. The the at the at the Radiance tower. That's gonna be for another twenty thirty seconds. And Dyer's what time to respawn? Get in there, get done. Quick. They practice for right now. What's that? What's up? But look, getting up and on the tail. Forced to pop his KD. Get away. Oh, that's a. I mentioned uh, the prey it's gone in the spirit bed. It will give it extra attack speed mm. and purge all of annoying bombs. Stuff like napalm stuff, which really kind of supposed to deal with. It makes the, the spirit bear strong and the front lines get subject more in some ways better. Dyer's bottom tower I really like each man plus spirit bear. We'll see. Man, they got a locker added on the spirit bear. Can shoot. I'm surprised they didn't. Okay, they've got one now for the alacrity. Yeah. At least star is attacked from one. Oh, damage. that's gonna be ridiculous. Yeah. It's gonna be a god. Uh, hey, things start coming together bit by bit. Ryan, as he taking the first net with the, of the game so far, Skull 11 11, and they are well ahead as XP goes. We gotta see now. Uh, comeback potential is. Look, Double get his B B here, and uh, let's see what we're gonna do. To, gonna get back. Yeah. Everything they need to get a hero build. Learn the hero build set. Torch 
Dota's been working on. But the game's changing. Poor <laughs> can't do that now for the LG, but oh. <laughs> it's, it's up there. Alright, Roche is still up. E home, D ward, and kind of maintain proper vision here. But, I mean, that's Lark now. But the background will really tree, and this is going to turn to a very high tension area. Boundless here, for the survivability of its attack speed now. I mean, AC on top of its yeah. attack speed? That would be disgusting. We're going to move into the early game Chen build room for the Vlads rather than the uh, pick up the egg. Just so OG recognized they were ahead and be able to control them. So before that lost fight, we were in control. able to see a rotate towers. Well, it took that one. I think mean, he's maybe thinking. Out of pick up during that race for OG and their damage potential now. I felt like the same thing E home 10 minutes ago, but okay. Flat, of course, to subscribe, but just get into a serious talk. Might up going on. Could see what we got before. Dazzle out of the picture. Oh, we got Snipe Lights up there. Miracle. Looks like we'll go with. Make it away. Alright. Tower down and no two tower bottom, just the two tower in the rush and proximity. But you home already in, looking to take this on the track, will get out the entire movement. But again, it's as old, sounds like yeah. a once they're five support, but it's a very influential because of the the walls that shallow. Is it back? It doesn't in the past of break. Oh, snatch bulge. Can't get up the high ground. It's briefly stunned up. But will up there. Puts him on a bed. I got Miracle just knocks him out. First casualty of the game. It's still kicking in. The e home. They want to move forward with this. They don't want Bear. Gonna be caught out. Falls nabbed with a look from the tail. And they want more blood. Although, that with a tornado. New. Coming back. Can't quite touch the roof. It looks like right now the coconut gonna get fly up. Hold a couple of pits. CTY moving in. Walking on the mirror. But the great. On the back end, let him do do tail, but ends up losing. Do Meanwhile, I don't think he's gonna be a good Move his good forces got out of out from Venom here. Shows the significance and how important this is gonna be for home. So, hold back for the now. Can he get the tornado? Yes, he can. And move forward. Why catches up to him, takes him down 11. Maybe potentially the spots have more! He's running and making it back! back. Good! Death Blast is gonna get up and kept a life birth for now! The bear is on getting turned up assisted! And it's bring crit chen! At risk of going down, gets caught up from seat by but Oh he in serious trouble now. Sit over the high ground and towards home base. Back at the end for for trying to re-engage, take another fight, but TA in my back, and it's just Jaro this pointing cut already dead. Roche being lost at this stage, unless TA can get instantly, they've got Lasso, but doesn't look like gonna be able to get here in time. And we huge free home, it costs five, but to win the fight, they follows to secure themselves a swell commitment coming from Legion as well as Voker. And this is like a Quasworx in Voker, it's not really saying that. Super late game, or like, kind of carry invoke it. I back for him this deal. This is more a slice of the Lord carry role for you now. Yeah, that's just. It's ridiculous. Bear and bigger and bigger. This gap starting to build up. So that's why games are. Miracle being topping. Now seeing 11. Yep. Pull further, further ahead of the SD. Complete. This is getting a bit sketchier for, for OG. All kind of options left form is E home before this is starting to become the console of the game. Yeah. And that fire on the pitch, if it was just a cloud, they making it very easy to move. They kited and played around the BKBs really well, also. There's just nowhere to fly once he leaves home. He, he just doubled up right there. CTY, who's now dominating on the Slark. Look at the fucking bear! Boom! Down! 
has fallen. Let me see attack. The right. press attack on the. Oh man. The invoker when he got lassoed. So they need to make sure they save the bit. This part is. Oh. Oh. Not safe for Brit though. Send right to Cole. He's not gonna have any. He's on making it out there. Take him apart. We'll buy back for him. For me, he looks. They could walking away actually with some big damage right now. Called out. Back out. Then they just kind of move forward. Now back to they go to work on the melee set while CDY goes for the back air Cricket to be brought. And got coming out. Not gonna be enough. And that game. E home. Game number one. Game looked like a strong OD. Part. They had the land geared out. It's like CTY land. We're gonna be not back to then one pick to a three man take to a huge and Oh my goodness. Be Beefy Spear Bear is just like the name of the game. You can it up with press the attack just fights.